All right, hello there. I am Scarecrow J, and today I have a little bit of a different video for you. This is actually a tutorial on how to get Two Worlds Epic Edition to work, at least on the Steam version. A lot of these fixes should work on the GOG version. They're probably the same issues, so you could try these fixes and they might work for you. So, uh, a little bit of a backstory on these. Just, I don't want to take too long, but I was trying to do a Let's Play of this, um, of this game and it was taking just forever to get it up and running. I spent four hours troubleshooting and I was finally able to get it running and I was like, hey, this is a pretty decent game, so maybe I should do a tutorial to let other people play the game and not take four hours to fucking get it up and running. <laughs> so yeah, that's the purpose of this video. So the most three common issues are just launching the game, like how to fix the soundtrack, stuttering, and voice lines in the game, and how to set the resolution. So I'm going to go down on these one by one. Uh, just for launching the game, uh, the most common fix would be to simply... <coughs> sorry. To simply go to this website and download these drivers. Uh, the issue here is that the new physics drivers uh, for NVIDIA and whatever else system you have... Just don't work on this game anymore so you can download them here and install them this is the nvidia actual website i'll link it below and you shouldn't have to worry about malware or anything even though i always do a, like a scan on stuff i download even if it's from a reputable source but you know that's just me being paranoid anyways so yeah you would want to go to this website another solution uh, i'm not sure if this is true for the gog version but these are actually already installed if you um, they're not installed, but the the files you need to install them with are actually in the local files when you download the game. You just go to installers in the local files, and they're right there. You can download them or install them, rather, and you're good to go there. Um, the other issue to fix soundtrack and stuttering is the one I had, which I was like trying so long to fix. Uh, what you would want to start with is to run it in compatibility mode. Which is simple. You would just go to properties, browse local files, like I just did for the other thing, two worlds, the application or exe file, or whatever you're running it on. Um, if you're maybe doing the ready radian one or save mode or whatever, you go to properties, compatibility, run this program in compatibility, mo uh, ugh, compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack 3. Simple enough. And then you just apply, okay. Uh, you could try to launch it there, but for me, I did have to do a computer restart. I don't know why that fixed it, but it did, and it was able to play successfully. Like, I'll show you real quick, just to prove I'm not fibbing. Uh, Two Worlds Epic Edition, let's go. Da -da -da. Uh, an issue, though, with this still is that it won't play cutscenes. I don't know how to fix that. If you do, I would really, it would be really helpful if you put that in the comments below. Because that would be nice to have cutscenes in. That is one thing I wasn't able to fix. On a side note, if you do want to see the uh, cutscenes of the game, you can actually go into the local files and then video. And they're actually all right here. So you can see them. It just, they won't play in game, which is, you know, the issue. <laughs> but you can hear the soundtrack is playing. Uh, you can see in the background there's no stuttering. If the soundtrack isn't working, it will actually stutter the game for some reason. You can kind of sidetrack it by going to settings, sound, and taking out uh, or unchecking play soundtrack. That'll fix the stutters, but you won't be able to hear them and voice lines won't play, which kind of like half the game, to be honest. Like the music and voice lines, they're so wonky and stuff. I mean, look at, listen to the soundtrack. Pretty, pretty good, I have to say. Okay, uh, let's exit that. So that, that'll that fix that issue. So set, setting resolution is another big problem I saw on the forums and stuff. It's one I had as well. Uh, since I've uh, like put it in compatibility mode, it actually works fine for me now. I can set resolutions and it won't crash the game. It might crash for you though. So how you kind of sidetrack it, get it up to 920 by 1080p, you know, big boy resolution. We're gonna go into the game. Uh, you could also, there's a file you can edit, um, like any file, but that's not what I do. I, I kind of just brute force it. 
Uh, what you're going to want to do is set it to window mode. And then that'll launch. That should go through successfully. It won't crash the game. You're going to want to keep the changes. Then go to settings, uncheck window mode, and set up to the resolution you want. And this should work. Hopefully it works for mine or I'm going to look like, an, like a butthole. Yeah, see, it works for me. But like I said, I, I wasn't having an issue with it since I put it in compatibility mode. But that might be able to fix it for you. That's what I did um, when I wasn't in compatibility mode and when I was having issues with res resolution. That's what fixed it for me. Um, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it. That's the three major issues. If you have any other issues, go ahead and comment below. Uh, some people, you know, trying to make the game work for themselves might have a solution for you for that one issue or whatever. Uh, and like I said, if you have a solution for the cutscene thing, I would really appreciate you put that in the comments below. That would make my playthrough of the game, which I am uploading to YouTube and probably streaming as well, a lot better. Um, and just better experience for myself as well. And, you know, everybody else trying to fix the game and play it. Because it is a fun game, I have to say. Two Worlds has been a fun experience so far when I played through it. Um, but anyways, uh, once again, I'm Scarecrow J, And thanks for watching. And hope you have a fun time playing Two Worlds.